Gems. With under a month to go for Seafair, which I can't believe it's already happening so quickly, what makes the sport so fascinating is the big rivalries between hydro pilots. Yes, that's the big part of Seafair. We know Seafair hydros and pilots, and we're talking rivalry right now with our photographer, Doug Dillon, who joins us live again from the Hydroplane Race Boat Museum in Kent with more. Hey, Doug. Hey, hey Amity. Bill Muncie, if you're a hydroplane historian like this fella David <laughs> is, what does that name connote in your mind? With Bill Muncie. Are you asking? Um, yeah. You know, a sport is full of great rivalries, and and you know, in, in college football, maybe the Huskies and and the Oregon Ducks, or if you're uh, baseball, the Yankees and the Red Sox. For hydroplane racing, it was Myra Slovak and Bill Muncie. Those two guys were were it in the 1950s. Sports Illustrated wrote a story in 1960 that called them the two greatest hydro drivers ever. And during the period that they raced, uh, they raced against each other 43 times, and Bill came in the lead. 22 times and Myra won 21 times. So they really very, very evenly matched. Um, but they were great friends off the course. They even staged some of that kind of fireworks for the, stage it for the media, so that they get stories written about all oh, their fighting, but they were tremendous friends. And one of the neat things, this museum, if I wanna come out here, how many, what are your operation hours? We're, we're, open, seven, or we're open five days a week. We're closed uh, Sundays and Mondays. We're open Tuesdays, Thursdays, uh, in, from eight in the morning until eight at night, and Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday from 10 in the morning until four. And one of the neat things, you take these boats to faraway places. Where do you take the boats to show them off? We have been uh, in as far east as Buffalo, New York, or uh, Gunnersville, Alabama, as far west as Honolulu, Hawaii, San Diego, California. We literally run all across the country. And we're all volunteer supported. All of our work is done by volunteers. And you can't really pay volunteers, but if, if my volunteers put in 200 hours during a given year, we give them a ride in a hydroplane. And so for, if you're interested, folks, at home, and you want a hydroplane bucket list item on your thing, Jordan, I'm talking to you, our editor, Jordan, loves the hydroplane, come and volunteer. <laughs> That's or right. What, if I can't volunteer, you guys have a yearly, um, a yearly uh, gala? We have a gala. Uh, this year, it's gonna be August 2nd at the Maiden Bowers Center in Bellevue. And one of the items we're auctioning off is a ride in the Miss Wahoo. Uh, and uh, so if you've ever wanted to go for a ride in a hydro and you don't have 200 hours to volunteer for us, just come to the gala. You can find tickets to it on our website, which is thunderboats.org. And we were talking, Amity, Jean Anderson, this boat right here, Jean has been in this boat. David really? gave her a ride in it, right? Well, actually, it wasn't this boat, but I've given rides to, to many Seattle media. Uh, Gene, uh, Steve Rabel on another station. And uh, you know, if Amity wants a ride, she better call. We can work something out. <laughs> oh, so, I am guys, calling. I'm telling you, Hydro's coming up. Be ready. Yep, I'm be ready. ready. I'll meet him there. I'll meet him at the water. Let's go. How fun. Thanks, Doug.